I'm blickety black, blacker than black, black. I'm blacker than black, yo, because I'm black and I'm black. Gentlemen, what we just witnessed is this a uh, studs are we the baddies moment, okay? Because the way this woman just jumped in that baby's face, the even a stud is like, whoa, 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 calm it on down. What the heck? That's a baby. First thing they did in Afghanistan. What they do what was the first thing they did. Well, one of the first things they did other than, you know, working out on the queen, like really enjoying the amenities and the equipment and testing out the equipment that we left them. Yeah, they shut down women talking in public. They did that for a very specific reason, because when you allow the feminine to just go buck wild, you end up with this. And it is truly the definition of ridiculous. And it's so crazy because I think me and the stud are looking at the same thing in this frame. Ladies, I don't know what it is about y'all having a strap between between your twins. But uh, yeah, that, it, it always looks delicious. It's kind of crazy. Like you can have B cups. You put a you, you put on a um, seatbelt or a <clears throat> strap to your purse. Like, yo, that looks that looks rather tempting. Like stud is looking at the same thing we looking at. Bro, it, it, like, look at her. <laughs> Guys, this is why I'm doing this video because I know, like, you know, oh, the outrage and all that other fun stuff. Look, do not have your children, do not have small children at these events. They can go left. Did you learn absolutely nothing from 2020? I do feel bad for the little girl, but it is just a little bit of yelling. Pop got it now. She's as safe as she ever going to be in this world and this life. But seriously don't bring your children to these things all right apparently they were um protesting at uh like a harris event and you know you got both sides popping up and for the most part it seems as if it's far less um contentious than it was back in 2020 particularly with the blm riots and all that going on back at the time but this like i'm telling you the stud in this picture who have you guys seen those videos where they go up to um, college studs and college lesbians and be like, hey, what's your name? What, what, what's your street name? And she'd be like, my name is uh, Taquala Ta 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 Isha. And <laughs> what's, what did your, what's your government name? Kimberly. You know, like, it, it's a phase. It's not a phase, dad. Like, all of our women in western society is and it's it are in their teenage it's not phased at years right now and i'm just yes anything can happen but i'm rather confident in what's going to take place on november 5th so like yeah 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 daddy's daddy's coming home and he's telling you to get back to god real quick and i can't help but feel like uh our our fellow uh uh, 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 muff, muff motivated individual um, is it kind of in the same boat and coming to that same realization like wait a second like yo like I think we may have gone a tad bit too far when you have this woman screaming in the face of someone who shouldn't be there but even if they are there should be definitely off limits and not worth confronting in the slightest. Why? Wow. Way to paint a picture for her. Like, she's that little girl's not going to be a feminist. <laughs> yeah, she's a baby. Like, come on. Of course she's not ashamed. Why would you expect her to be ashamed? That's so like no, we live in a shameless society. We our culture has encouraged the shamelessness amongst women. 
to whereas, you know, like it's all feelings, it's all emotions, and, and none of it makes sense in the slightest. And we've raised several generations, and then it's not just the young men, it's the young women as well. We didn't raise good husbands and fathers, and we damn sure haven't been raising good mothers and wives. And that should have been the ultimate goal from jump. But we further away from God than we've ever been culturally, right? So people out here doing what they want to do. And when you have all the programming via TV, internet, media nowadays um, that are telling these women, constantly feeding these women this idea that you are perfect, you are, you are perfect, you are powerful, you are empowered, and there's absolutely nothing that you can do that isn't worth doing, this is the results. This nutty bullshit right here is the results. Man, miss me with it, okay? I have no interest in this build back new world order bull nonsense that you've had going on since even before the pandemic, but like really just got real blatant about it since the pandemic. Most people don't. Sane people don't. All right. So basically men don't. <laughs> men who have never felt the caress of another man don't. All right. <laughs> So guys, I, I like I, I came across this. It's the weekend. It's content. And once again, every time I drop this, every time I drop this, look at the studs' eyes. Look at exactly what the studs' eyes are. Like, yo. <laughs> look on this studs' face is the same as the rest. Of, like, yo, that's a great titty. But then you realize how much crazy that titty is uh is attached to. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, you, I, I can't help but feel like a stud lady there really had some hard evaluating that she did over her life choices and, and, and what she thinks is right and wrong. Just really like since then, I, I, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest, but I knew most um outlets and individuals won't particularly pay attention to that, which is why this video exists. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments and until the next one. Oh, you know what? Question. We, are you going to go screaming up in a baby's face? Let me know in the comments. All right. So I can properly block you, weirdo. Until the next one.